Also developing this morning, Somerset police are investigating how a toddler was injured by a lawnmower. Pinpoint News Track is showing you where it happened at a home on William J. Higgins Road. Neighbors say the home also doubles as some kind of a daycare. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado has more from outside Hasbro Children's Hospital in Providence. The child rushed into surgery here at Hasbro Children's Hospital yesterday afternoon. And although this is believed to be an accident, Somerset police have launched a full investigation to figure out exactly how and why it happened. This green riding mower sits idle in the back of a home along William J. Higgins Road after a two-year-old girl is badly injured by its blades. Firefighters say the girl suffered a traumatic injury to her lower left leg late Monday afternoon. It's some truck go flying in down the street. I mean, really flying down the street. And then on, behind him was another police car, and then another police car, and then another police car. And it was like we didn't know what was going on. The girl was rushed to Hasbro Children's Hospital in Providence for treatment. Authorities won't say how they believe it happened or who was operating the mower, but neighbors say some kind of daycare is run out of the home. Although it is unclear who the victim is, neighbors tell Eyewitness News the victim's father rushed to the home and got into the ambulance with her. Sometimes she's got him for two hours, sometimes she has him for a half a day or a day. I have no idea, you know, but I know she does, and she's been doing that for a long time. I mean, it's not, uh, she's not new at it. At the home, no one would answer the door, really, but really friends and family inside. rushed inside as neighbors asked themselves how something like this could happen. You know, I never see kids out running around. Uh, they're always in the house and everything. There's no, it's always controlled, you know. Although this is believed to be an accident, Somerset police won't say if anyone is facing charges, but say more information should be released later on today. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DiPrato, Eyewitness News.